The test match that promised to deliver the salivating contest everyone was hoping for failed to do so and instead saw a dominant South Africa outclass India in all three disciplines of the game in conditions that were more suited to the visitors. And the Indian skipper Virat Kohli certainly didn't pull any punches after his team's poor performance here in Centurion. That's the most, uh, you know, thing, the hurtful thing that, you know, both skills are not coming together at the right times, um, including fielding as well. And, you know, they are far superior in the field uh, than us. And um, all three things have to come together well in tough situations for you to be able to win test matches and series, which we have failed to do. The winning captain made it clear that he would resist the temptation to rotate his squad ahead of the third test and instead would focus on securing a series whitewash against the best team in test cricket. I'd favour being ruthless and making sure that you can try and dominate a team. Um, we haven't had that opportunity for a while to beat India 3-0. Um, so I, I wouldn't make, or the, I don't think the team would make changes just to give guys opportunity. Although it's a good thing, um, for me it's about having the foot on the gas and making sure you apply as much pressure as you can with your, with your strongest eleven. Lungi and Gidi shone with the ball and tore through India's batsmen, finishing with a second innings haul of 6 for 39. And the 21-year-old is hoping that this is the start of something special after being plagued with injuries in his fledgling career. I'd also love this to be a long career. I know many people talk about how injuries have affected you know, me in the past, but I feel like this is a new start. Um, in the past, I didn't know what I was doing, to be honest. And now I've sort of found my feet. I know which path I'm actually going down and the right formula for me as a cricketer. With this 135-run victory, South Africa have ended India's incredible run of nine consecutive series wins, which has seen the Giants from the subcontinent win 21 out of 30 tests. And now with momentum firmly in their favour, the Proteas will be out to claim a rare series whitewash, and should they do so, will be within touching distance of ending India's reign as the world's number one ranked test side. CS2 plus C, CGTN, Centurion.